Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a get ready with me for my birthday. It's going to be a very subtle golden cut crease with a little bit of pink highlight. I'm kind of nervous for this look because I've never used some of the products that I'm using before, but I think it turned out okay. Tell me what you think in the comment section. But for now, let's get right into it. So I've already primed my face, I used my MAC Prep and Prime, and I've done my eyebrows. You guys know this step from my previous looks, so we can skip right past that today. But because I want this look to last all night, I'm going to use some concealer under my eyes just to make sure that there are no dark circles and no bags under my eyes. After that, I'm putting on my foundation, and I've mixed my foundation with a little bit of Melly Mills Body Radiance in deep gold. And I just use a damp beauty blender to blend that out. So now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Deep and I'm using the lightest colour just to hide those bags under my eyes. It's like, it makes you look Photoshop but without Photoshop. <laughs> so what you're going to do is get a flat angle brush and you take the lightest colour and put that in the darkest shadows of your eyes. So when light hits those shadows, you won't be able to see any bags under your eyes because they're filled in with light and there's no shadow casting down on that area. But you have to make sure that you only put it in the shadow area. If you put it in other areas, then this technique will not work. Okay, now I've got a tiny bit of concealer, which is my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And you only need a little bit. And I place those in the areas that I want to highlight. And then I just blend it out. After that, I go ahead and do my contour. And then after that, I go ahead and grab my Sasha Buttercup Powder and place that over my highlights. And I let it bake. Okay, now time for the eyes. So I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer because I want my eyeshadow to stay all day and I don't want any creases. I don't do this every day, only on special occasions or if I'm going out. Normally I keep my makeup very simple. Then I grab some translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I just put that over my primer in a windshield wiper motion. I really find this step helps the eyeshadows blend better. I'm using the Radioactive Stack from Melt Cosmetics. I was really nervous about using this stack because I've never used it before. And I'm mixing the orange colour with my 212 Kiko. I was really hoping to get like an orangey brown, obviously. Um, but the orange colour comes out pinkish on my skin tone, which is quite strange. So I just had to work with it. So I blended those two colours together. And then I used the shade Unseen from the Dark Matter Stack. And I put that over the lid and in the crease of my eye. And then I'm using Blur and I put that just on the lid. The orange and brown mix didn't really give me the colour I was going for because the orange turned out pink on my skin tone. So I'm just using Embark here from MAC to darken that colour and make it more brown in the crease. After that I'm going in with Amber Lights from MAC over my lid and I'm really pressing this powder in. I wet the brush to make sure that the colour is really pigmented. And then after that I'm using Half Baked from my Naked 2 palette and just putting that over Amber Lights to really give me a standout glowing gold. Then I use that Radon colour again and a bit of that brown Kiko shadow and put that under my eyes on the outer corners and I put Amber Lights in the inner corners of my eyes. Then I just line my eyes with my Kiko Casual Pencil. And then I use the Kiko Precision Eyeliner to do a very subtle wing. After that, I brush off the baking powder and I add my translucent powder. <laughs> yes, I know, I bake a lot. I don't keep that on for very long. It's just to get rid of the yellow tone in the buttercup powder. Now I'm using a brand new brush I bought from NARS called Taj Mahal. It's a really orangey, golden blush. And I think it kind of doubles as a highlight because I definitely didn't need to use any highlight. It was so golden. But I didn't think it gave me that blushy look that I was going for. So I still end up going back to Old Fate for my Burnt Pepper MAC blush. And I mix the two together and I really like the colour. On my lips, I'm using three liquid lipsticks. The first that's already on there is Salem from Lime Crime. The second is Tool from Colourpop and I'm just using that on the inner lip then you wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'm going in with Shroom from Lime Crime again and I'm putting that in the innermost part of my lip and to blend it out you just press your lips together a few times and the colours blend now I'm putting on my favourite lashes Iconic from House of Lashes and that's really all there is to the look you guys that's it I did some Vixen Afro Crochet Braids with a bit of a leave out. Don't worry you guys, I'm going to have a tutorial on that for you very soon. I really hope you enjoyed the look. It's very simple glam 
and I think it turned out okay. So thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get me to 20,000 subscribers where I'll do a massive giveaway. Then click on over to my vlog channel, The Vera Vlogs Life, to see all the birthday shenanigans. Thanks again guys, bye! Joker, but I didn't get to, and I'm really kind of. I like Harley Quinn's character though, because she's just. I do, I do, 